There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below. But for now, today's question. The question, what is the relation between hypertension, diabetes, and kidney diseases? Firstly, let's look at what exactly each condition is. Hypertension is high blood pressure around 140-90, prehypertension being above 120-80. Hypertension often occurs as a secondary disease, meaning that it can come about as a result of another condition, such as kidney disease. I will explain why in a bit. Diabetes is a condition where there is either a complete depletion of insulin, or insulin resistance. The body is then unable to metabolize carbs and utilize glucose. Hypertension is a very frequently occurring diabetes-related disease. Physical inactivity, obesity, and high sodium slash fat slash sugar diets in combination with genetics put someone at risk for type 2 diabetes. In addition, those same factors can put someone at risk for hypertension because the heart has to work that much harder to move blood and oxygen around the body. Imagine turning on a faucet, but a pebble is lodged in the pipes. More and more water is trying to flow through, but only a little can go past the pebble, and eventually the pressure builds and builds. Kidney disease put simply is the state where a kidney is unable to perform its normal function. Kidney function is vital for numerous processes in your body, urine filtration, drug excretion, acid-base homeostasis, fluid and electrolyte balance, etc. etc. Kidney disease can cause hypertension because when the kidney is unable to filter fluid out sufficiently, the increased fluid in the body can increase blood pressure. In turn, the resulting increased blood pressure can damage the kidneys, exacerbating the condition. Which is why it is important to protect the kidneys in treating hypertension. I hope that helps. If you need more answers and advice on hypertension I've included some links in the description.